Are we going dogs next or titans? Dogs. <laughs> Good, Done the back. titans. I know. God damn it. <laughs> the Lord of the Roosters, don't we? Shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right. We uh, are going to get to the Canterbury Bulldogs. Here we go. This uh, is where the fun begins. <laughs> Losses. Alamote to the Panthers. Avarillo. New Brown. Brandon Clark. Andrew Davey. Fatala Mariner has since left. Flanagan. Gabriel. Ockenbohr. TPJ. To his alleged retirement. Franklin Pele. Josh Reynolds. Luke Thompson. And Corey Waddell. They picked up Stephen Crichton. Josh Curran. Poasa Fasumwali, Drew Hutchinson, Kurt Mann, Damon Salmon, Blake Taff, Connor Tracy, Jake Turpin, Mitch Woods, and Bronson. Sherry, how's the draw look? Um, pretty average, to be honest. Um, six games against last year's top four, but they uh, do have three games out of a possible four against the bottom four because they were one of those... <laughs> uh, the bottom three, sorry, because they were one of those bottom three. So um, everything else... On a good day, they could win, you know, <laughs> some of those games. <laughs> but, um, yeah, their, their draw is probably smack bang in the middle of all the everything there. So We say this draw stuff. It's all relative, isn't it? Like yeah, Penrith, they're going to Penrith play everyone, so whatever. They, they, I think they're the only team with no five-day turnarounds. Yes, them and um, Manly. Yep. Yep. They've got the trial in four days' time uh, against the Storm, which is exciting. Twenty, And then on the 23rd, they play the Sharks. Best team. <laughs> Taff at fullback, I've gone with. Addo Carr on the wing. Crichton and Tracy in the centres. Carraz on the other wing. Burton, Sexton, Liam Knight, Marnie. Uh, Max King, Kickow, Preston, Curran. Uh, the bench is Mann, Hughes, Sutton and Semen. But there are other utilities in and about from those signings. Look, the ultimate question here, Barn, is where the fuck do they put these 10 utilities? how it works, and what are they going to achieve? Pretty much where you've got them, I think, is where, where they'll run out in, um, in the first week of this year anyway. And Taff, <laughs> Taffy's going to play fullback in trial. I would think so. Um, no, it's confirmed. It was. It is confirmed. Yeah. Apparently there's been some promises made to Crichton to get him across there to begin with that he'd be playing number one, so he may run out in the number one jersey at the start of the year, but it's going to be very determined on how they're going during the year. Like, um, realistically, they've made... Well, it's a revolving door syndrome of the Bulldogs. It's been the same for the last three years. They sack 10 blokes and buy 10 other blokes and <laughs> they yes, try to jam it all together. I think they've got rid of... Um, look, there's no one from their 2021 squad no. still in this team, which is no. incredible. And stability or instability in a roster really hurts an NRL team. I know it may look better than what you saw out of them previous seasons and it did look better last year and it probably looks slightly better again this year. But that kind of instability, you can't breed combinations in an off-season. You can't get blokes on a well, same defensive pattern. Uh, no, I don't want to update my system. We've been doing their play style and a bit of what they do. How would you eat? What is their play style this year? They're going to have to play touch footy, which is That's what they did they a do. lot of last year. Yeah. Um, try to not get belted in the middle of the field, which is their biggest problem. Um, they've... Added a little bit of size to that pack, but it's still one of the, on paper, poorer packs in the competition. I expect them to, to probably be dominated in 60% of the games that they play through the middle of the field. So on the back of that, if you're on the back foot, unless you've got someone with a brilliant kicking game that can turn the tables, you have to sling the football around and hope that somebody does something uh, out, of the extra, out of the ordinary and breaks a tackle and makes a break and then gets down the other end of the field. So... I can see them getting into panic mode quite often and having to play that touch football style of footy to get in around the defences because when you're beaten, beaten in the forwards, it makes it a hell of a lot easier to defend against. 100%. And it makes me nervous because they have to justify some of these signings. So you're going to have a team which at times had the worst middle in the competition. Remember the game against Newcastle where there wasn't a middle? Mm -hmm. <laughs> There'll be three hit-ups in a try. Uh, they are going to have to justify Kurt Mann playing Somewhere. decent minutes of 14 <laughs> or, or Jamin Salmon playing back row. I don't know if Salmon gets a go. I, I don't think he does either, um, the more I thought about it. Uh, and that concerns me because the, the big, there's no middle. Max King works his ass off. Yes, they've got Liam Knight there who's a, a body, but he's you know a body. 
but what, plenty what, of coverage in the halves, but to me that just lends itself to swapping and changing during the year. If the, if they're getting beaten handily, then yeah. you've got yeah, the rotation of halves just constantly going, which is another thing that's not beneficial for any rugby league team. Well, you generally have you jag something four blokes who play fullback. So as we said, obviously Taff, um, who might be better served Can being play at six. six yeah. uh, Crichton, Tracy. My man. And can play um, six if he has to, can play fullback. Yeah. And you've still got Perham in the squad and you've got um blokes like Karaz and Wilson there or thereabouts. I would almost if it was me, I would almost be trying to if you're gonna play touch footy, back your strike, put Burton back at the centres, have Crichton Burton centres, and then try and have Drew Hutchinson run the show. Yep. Or, or six in a Hutchinson. We could in do the worse than having Hutchinson in. Yeah, Hutchinson at six. Oh, well, he played a lot of centre too, actually. Mm. Uh and just back your pace. I don't think they will. I'm just super interested to see what they do. Whether Curry ends up in the middle. Is Curry better off playing? Maybe Curry ends up at prop. I don't think that's a positive. Or does Preston end up at 13 and you put Curry in back row on an edge? What, what, what that's what I'd in? be doing. I'd be putting Preston in the middle. Um, already proved that he can play middle or edge if needed. Uh, 13 gives him the opportunity to play both. Um, I don't think Curran can hold down 80 minutes in the middle of the field. Um, could probably hold down 80 minutes on an edge, but I don't think he's going to be giving you more than probably 40 to 50 minutes in the, in the middle. So. Mm. Any thoughts on this? The dogs are a clusterfuck. <laughs> I just think they're a clusterfuck. Well, like, I think they're a clusterfuck. I agree. I agree. They're, they're a 17 piece puzzle, and they've just pilfered. 17 pieces from other puzzles, put them all together and go, I'm yeah. sure that'll fit, that'll yeah. do. They've got 50 pieces and they've got to it's make like watching, yeah. It's like watching Elijah try a jigsaw puzzle and he's trying to cram fucking edge pieces into the middle. Yeah. Go, <laughs> and when that doesn't fucking fit. work, they go, ah, new year, we'll yeah. find 15 more pieces and just throw these ones out. Mm. Mm. Like, individually, they're not bad pieces. No, fantastic pieces. Like, if, like, again, if you said to me, Stephen Crichton's the best center in the world, I wouldn't argue with you. Yeah. Like, the, but... The team made of individuals is solid mm. and could compete. But when you throw them in, people are going to be out of position. There's going to be – it's a shit fight. There is no nice way of saying they've just – you're not going to have any sort of continuity or cohesiveness throwing people into random positions and going, do your best, I guess. <laughs> Good I, luck, son. I really, Good amongst I really hope they've got some junior players up their sleeve. Like, I hope – I know there's reps on Sam Hughes. Uh, obviously, they found Preston last year, but I hope they've got two props that they're just going to roll out in round four and we'll go, oh, fuck, where they find these blokes? Because otherwise... Yeah, they're lacking size. The ro- bench they're, rotation They've probably got the worst forward back in the comp. Yeah. And they've got no no forwards on the bench either, by the looks of it. So That's right, and they're going to they're gonna have to go rotate. That, that's why I thought Sam, because at least Sam's played some back row for Penn, I thought that <laughs> might be where they go. But they'll start blooding some of the, the young blokes like they did last year with Wilson and mm. Hughes, and they'll be out of the squad because they've picked up players with names. Like Bronson Sherry's going to make the squad when maybe he spent mm. a couple <laughs> of years off because he had too much blood in his steroid system. Mm. Yeah. You what love that line, do? don't you? I do. It does. <laughs> you, know, you know, you've seen... Uh, I heard that well, one yeah, and stole they've, it. They've found the right bloke to train with this week. You see that? John Bones was there, <laughs> yes. wasn't he? Mm. John Joe. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, there'll be games where they might get on top and play a bit Put of that, a good hit, throw the ball around and score more tries than their opposition. But uh, yeah, the, the forward pack for mine just says that they can't crawl, they can't get anywhere near getting out of the bottom four. So I think they're on last. Mm. I, yeah, I know I'm wearing a shirt, but at least you can see where Tigers are heading. They have a direction, whether it's right, wrong, indifferent. They're going slightly somewhere. up from the bottom. Well. Benji said, this is what we're doing. This, I look at this and go, what, the, what is this? What is this? They're all good footballers. I'm sure they're nice people. But it's not a NRL 2024 rugby league team, in my opinion. They'll, they'll provide opportunities. They will score tries. But whether they can go with teams for long enough periods to win games is going to be a big problem. I, uh, yeah, so Sutton's there as well. But... Uh, I'm just looking at Supercoach now. I'm just sorting by team. Josh Curran's owned by 33.8% of everyone. Because everyone thinks K. he's going to play 80 minutes on an edge. Does it interest you? If he plays 80 minutes on an edge. <laughs> <laughs> and Bronson Cherry is owned by 30% of people. I can't. I don't. I, I don't see him making a team. I'm not sure he makes a team either. 
it does interest you even if you don't? No, I'd want to be. I'd I'd want to. What price you? Definitely want to watch him. Three forty-five. Sam Hughes twenty-five percent at two thirty-eight, and then kick out thirteen percent. Sam Hughes makes all the sense. Not going to get enough opportunity to no provide. Realistically, no. he might have a game where he scores a hat trick, but other than that, you're going to be looking at twenties and thirties. Yes, most weeks. Yeah, he's not going to run two hundred fifty meters, is he? Wasn't you know he used to do a little bit out of dummy half for the Sharks way back when, but. In the handful That's of games that we've seen him, it was all just a wait on his wait in the position and hope he gets a gap in front of him and blows him away with pace. Is there any optimism here for you, Blakes? None. No. Definitely not. I can't even find any. And I searched. As you said, if you could find two front rowers, two young, massive young front rowers that they could bring into this squad, I'd be thinking that they you know, they'll get up to that pack. But the, you know, that group of blokes just outside the eight, but for mine, they're still bottom four. And yeah, close. <laughs> As you said, they'll finish. Wouldn't last. surprise me if they ran last. There's two teams, right? There's only two teams can run last, and they're one of them.